about that, uh, this is one of my rare evening clips. Um, I woke up early for some reason, so I figured, might as well pull up, might as well get this guy out. Um, this is just a, this is just a demo run. It's not a, it's not a fully idealized build or anything. But, uh, I'll, I'll show you what he is. Wrong button. Uh, basically the whole... It's kind of centered around vengeance. And strafe. Strafe is my main one. It's kind of a ranged equivalent of a spin to win build. Like on a barbarian. Um, but, um... That's one of the big ones right there. Reduces the cooldown of vengeance by 56%. Which you're going to need. Um... It's also, this build is also centered around fire damage. So there's 50% extra damage there. And then I got the four piece of the shadow, the shadow build. And yes, I'm fully aware that I don't have a melee weapon equipped. That's not what this guy's set up for. I only want that for the uh, shadow power. Gains the effect of every rune and lasts forever. Which, speaking of that... Let's fire that up. Okay, then back to this. Uh, Cinder Coat. Extra fire damage. It also lowers the resource cost of fire skills, which I'm definitely going to need. Um, basically, whatever gem you have on that crown, the effect is doubled. It reduces all the resource costs by rounding up 25%. Uh, additional fire damage on that one. Same thing there, that's, uh, Teagog. Deals more damage with, um, with Strafe over time. Uh, more or less a placeholder. Health Globes restore, uh, part of my primary resource. Also additional fire damage. Uh, Bale Fire Caster. Kind of the same thing, additional fire damage. Also a bit of hatred per second, which kind of helps. Basically, I'm trying to keep the resource cost down because uh, without it, it strength just, just drains my hatred just down to nothing. Um, City and Ring of the Zodiac reduces the cooldown by one reduces uh, one of my random cooldowns by one second every time I hit. Uh, Bane of the Trapped uh, slows monsters down that are near me. It also increases damage against them, which when Coupled with that, enemies hit by my hatred spenders are slowed by 80%, which also means I deal additional damage to them. Unity. Uh, reduce, dam reduce damage I take by 50%. It also, um, I also have deal extra damage for uh, 79 seconds after I kill an elite pack. I also deal additional damage and take less damage from elites as well. Shadow, shadows. Ah, uh, all my grenades. Which is... What I got there throws out bouncy grenades and explode for some 60, etc. But now that I'm over here, my grenades deal more damage and the uh, AoE is slightly bigger. Upon death, that's irrelevant since I play hardcore. So, ignore that. All my grenades have a chance to bounce three times, dealing extra damage at each bounce. The final bounce is 800% uh, damage. So, I think that about covers it. Uh, quick rundown of the skills. Preparation, punishment rune, restores hatred instead of uh, discipline which I I kind of need in case of uh, in case of uh, for some reason vengeance is gonna be on a long it's, uh, it's still off cooldown cat's got my tongue right now uh, let's see what else I got that uh, my wolf whenever it's active it deals a little bit of damage deals additional damage uh, let's see what else. I think that covers.
towards it, except... Looks like I forgot to transmog my glove, so... I'll go over and get that squared away right now. There we go. I like my guys to look simple. And I guess, um... I'll give up. I'll do a level 30 greater riff run. Hopefully I don't die or something and really embarrass myself. Oh. This is gonna be the hard part too. At the very start of a run until I start getting off. Nephilim Globes. Oh wow, we're setting them all at once. I forgot to show you what my uh, follower has. Okay. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll show this too. Basically, upgrading all those except maximum hatred. Since my resource costs are so low, maximum hatred ain't gonna matter. Um, uh, pretty much standard issue right there. Uh, same thing there. Just balancing out the life and life regen. Armor and resist are maxed out. Pretty much standard issue on that as well. Um, a follower, he's just the guy that brings the buff, so I don't really have anything special for him. Uh, Oculus ring. If you ever see that yellow... AOE thingy on the ground, standing in there increases my damage. Follower can die, combined with unity, basically means I take 50% less damage. Okay. Hopefully I should have covered everything now.
praise you. Another important, one of the reasons why it's very important to have 100% uptime on Vengeance is uh, it also makes me immune to crowd control effects. And um, uh, I forget the name of the gem, but it makes me immune to crowd control effects. I don't have that in this build, so keeping that up is very important. So I'm not getting, I'm not getting feared into a bunch of frozen bombs and then killed instantly or anything like that or. My name is Being vortexed into a bunch of uh, molten bombs and then getting killed instantly, that kind of thing. Let's upgrade that. See how many times it fails. There we go. The failure I've come to know and expect. Of course, it was at 30%, so can't complain too much. I need to go back. Stow it away, but I have no interest in using Impale. Okay, I just wanted to do that demo run, um, just just to get it out there. But that should do it. That should do it this time around. Um, until next time, take care. <laughs>